Hi, I'm Wally and welcome to the EPC training video series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to calibrate your Adobe Acrobat measurement tool so that you can use that to measure up your drawings for your EPC audit in your preparation for the pre-audit measurement. Just a quick shout out to Innocent. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Innocent, your EPC audit partner. So, Adobe Acrobat has got a tool which can be utilized for measuring drawings. Um, and that tool can be found, it's in the free version as well as the paid version. On the right hand side here by more tools, if you click on that, there's an option here that shows measure, this pink ruler. And if you click on that, it'll open up a toolbar at the top here that has a measurement tool that you can use for measuring your drawings. What I've done is I've created a shortcut. You can see the shortcut here on my taskbar because every time I want to do a drawing measurement, I don't want to necessarily go and open up the tools there. Uh, the way you do that is right click um, and go to customize quick tools. And if you scroll down, you'll see that under measure the measuring tool you can then just add the plus and it'll bring it to your toolbar shortcuts I've already done it so that's why I can't highlight it now it's already there and hence it's reflecting on my toolbar so definitely one of your first steps is, is add the shortcut in your toolbar so on the measurement tool the first time that you use it if you click it it gives you the following options it's got snap twos so if you move your pointer it'll snap to corner areas and intersection areas those are your snap tools and then the first option is measurement so if you so you hold control in and scroll with your mouse wheel so let's say for instance we want to measure this distance you click and click again and the last click will give you the distance. But notice that this now gives you the length in centimeters on the page. So if you look at the, the page size, that's the amount of centimeters that it's measured on the page. You then also have an option to um, do like a um, area measurement the one that we use sorry just a, um, a, a parameter tool to, to get the outside lengths of an object the one that we'll be using 99% of the time is the area tool um, to measure area so when you select that tool and we now want to I'm gonna just zoom out hold control and roll your mouse wheel um, let's say for instance that I want to measure this office space over here so by having that tool selected you can then I'm going to just zoom in a bit more click on the corner click on the corner zoom out click on the corner zoom in again click on the corner and then when you move it to your starting point, you'll see a block there. If you click on the block now, it'll just give you another point. You want to move it till you see that little, see right next to the mouse pointer is that little round circle that forms uh, there. That's what you, so if you click on that, it completes the block and it gives you the screen. So this currently is 10 square centimeters. Now that doesn't make sense. No office space would be 10 square centimeters. So in order to be able to use this tool for measurement of drawings we need to calibrate our measurement ruler 
Okay. So you know now where to find the measurement tool and the tools measure. You know how to put the shortcut. So let me show you the calibration. So we press escape three times at least. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to delete it out. The way you calibrate your measurement tool is the first time you click on measurement tool. So there I click it. If you then go anywhere on the drawings and you right click, it gives you the option change scale ratio and precision. Okay. So you can only do that the first time you click on the measurement tool. I'm going to just press cancel. I want to show you the difference. So again, just press escape. There's the measurement tool. I activate it, click on it, click on the area. If I now right click, it still gives it to me. Okay, usually it, it, it gives you a bit of hassles. Um, but usually it gives you other options once you've started measuring. But change scale ratio and precision. So in order to do that, you first need to know what is the scale of the drawing. So there's two ways to do this. You either need to take a reference measurement on the drawing to determine the scale, or most drawings, sorry, I just zoomed out, most drawings will actually indicate the scale on the drawing. I just want to see on this one. Uh, Find a different, but you can see here on your area tool currently the scale is one centimeter is one centimeter and that won't work let's see if we can find the scale reference here just a quick interruption you remember to like and subscribe this video so that you can also receive notifications on any other future training videos that we do on the epc training video series remember to like and subscribe actually had another drawing open where it is okay so here on this drawing you can see that it actually gives you the scale at the bottom so one centimeter equals a hundred centimeter would be the scale for for this drawing see this one doesn't have any dimensions so yeah your scale would be one to one hundred so to calibrate it and let's just use it as First of all, using the measurement on the other drawing, we'll use the tool. So the very first measurement we need to do now is at the scale of one centimeter to one centimeter, we want to establish how many centimeters equals 1.5 meters. So we're going to click on the, the intersecting point and the intersecting point and what we can see now, I'm going to just zoom out. So one and a half centimeters equals one and a half meters. So if we do the calculation, so um, 1,500 millimeters, it's 150 centimeters, okay, is 1.5 meters. 150 centimeters divide by our length, 1.5 equals a scale of 100. So the scale of this drawing is one centimeter equals a hundred centimeters. Okay, so let's redo this. I'm going to press escape. Zoom out. Let me just delete this out. So right click. And that's what I said to you earlier. Click on it there. Right click, change scale. So now we change the scale ratio. One centimeter equals a hundred centimeters. If we now measure the same length, so it's, it's still on measurement here. If we measure the same length again, now we find that it gives us 150 centimeters, which is 1.5 meters. Um, and that's our scale ratio. So now the ratio for the drawing has been set. Press escape. I'm just going to delete this out. So that's how we set our scale ratio. In terms of doing it again based on this, so here's no reference draw, uh, measurement on the drawing. So how do we know that it's, that it's accurate? So I'm going to activate the measurement tool here. 
I'm going to right click say scale ratio and I'm going to show you how to do a quick check so here we've said one centimeter equals 100 centimeters okay and you can see here in the bottom right hand corner distance tool gives you there's your ratio if we take the area tool gives you ratio once or your scale one centimeter equals 100 centimeters so without any reference measurements in the drawing how do we know that this is correct so if we zoom out and here at the top we zoom in we can see that it says that this drawing the open area is roughly about 530 square meters so just let's do a quick check so I'm going to do a very rough outline of this just to see if we more or less in that that size so there there every time you get to a corner you just click uh, click and click uh, they refer to open areas so and let's just exclude the stairs for now again this is really just a rough quick measurement to check if our scale makes sense in 1 to 100 so there points and remember now we're waiting there we go there's that open circle if we click now it closes the loop so square centimeters there's a thousand square centimeters in a square meter so if we look at the commas there if we take the comma four places to the left it basically gives us 624 square meters 624,4 square meters and if you remember correctly we had in our area size um, open area 530 squares plus another 54 the toilets and lobby and so on so if we look at this 624 it's definitely the the right scale so that's the way to do a very quick check if your scale is correct or not I've made the mistake a couple of times and you'll see it in the video as well it happens you sometimes start with a drawing and you start clicking and clicking and clicking and then so always ensure when you start measuring that your scale is set correctly otherwise you spend quite a bit of time mapping out a office or a space and then when you get your results you see five square centimeters and you realize that you haven't done the scale so every time you open up adobe acrobat or new drawing confirm your scale and that's the way that we set our scale on adobe acrobat thank you for watching our video i hope that this helps you to do your epcs much more efficiently and accurately and that you're very successful in your EPC endeavors. Remember to like and subscribe.